actually. So he gets hit on the upper biceps, shoulder area, and, and, and down to the forearm, right? Yes. By an unbroken taillight, right? Yes. In other words, it's nice and smooth. Nothing, no, no shards of uh, plastic or anything broken at the time that it made contact with his arm, right? Correct. Okay. So how does his arm get all cut up? Because when his arm sh- struck the taillight, the taillight then cracked. And as the car is driving past him, the taillight could scratch it. Got it. So he gets hit by the car, not his torso, just the arm. The taillight cracks. And as it passes by, his arm stays with it long enough to get striations, those scratches that you see, those lacerations. I'm sorry, those uh, abrasions that you see, right? In a sense, yes. And at the same time, he does a pirouette and flies... 30 feet to his final point of rest. I don't know if he did a pirouette. Well, I'm using the word pirouette. He spun around. He started rotating counterclockwise. I don't know how far he ran counterclockwise, but he started rotating. According to that, would push him to rotate counterclockwise. Well, now he went counterclockwise all the way to his back toward the ground. That's a po- it seems like a most likely possibility. What, if anything, of significance you observed in your inspection of, of this area of the, the Lexus? Okay. <clears throat> So, on the left side here, I put down that scratches, and there was a dent there. Um, the broken tail light here was here. Um, there's some scratching, scratches on the bottom right rear bumper here, um, and there was glass from a cut back on the bumper. As far as the glass on the bumper, what, if any, observations did you make of that in relation to uh, the, uh, the vehicle itself? Um, yeah. It, uh, appear to be um, from a cup as opposed to any glass that came from the vehicle. Objection. Now, as far as the glass uh, not matching, uh, are, you fami- are you aware that the lab's actual findings were that the glass on the bumper and the glass on the roadway was not, was just incons- uh, I'm sorry, not found to be consistent with each other? Is that your understanding? If you know. I don't know. And <clears throat> were you also... Uh, aware that the lab's finding was that the glass on the bumper was consistent with the glass on the road. I'm not aware of what the lab said. <clears throat> it gets, <clears throat> so the tail light in this case was shattered when it was struck John O'Keefe's arm. Exactly what part of his arm? It, based on what I saw for his injuries, was from the t- upper part, part of his arm down. Was his arm out? And it just struck the arm on a hinge? Was it in front of him? You did the reconstruction? The it looked is exactly how his body was positioned when he was struck by that. <clears throat> so it looks like his arm was more, more kind of like this, if I can try to get that. You're indicating out by his side, correct? Yes. All right. And the, the taillight would have struck his arm, right? Yes. Not his torso? Yes. Okay. So... The full mass, the full weight of that truck hit him basically at the elbow. Is that right? Missing no, I, his no. Torso. But I said it's yeah, from the upper part of the arm right. down. Uh, yeah. The elbow and the biceps. I didn't, I, don't, I didn't see anything that shows an indication that this lower torso was struck, but okay. so not, torso it's right? not saying it could not have been a possibility, but I just didn't see anything. So his torso was spared from being hit, but the arm took the brunt, the full force of the, of the vehicle. Correct? Like arm and the shoulder, yes. Okay. And you said he then did a <clears throat> spin, like a sort of a pirouette? He, he got spun around counter. Got, it, possibly the way he struck, it looked like it could have gone turned around counterclockwise. Okay. Like I said, it, look, it looked like to me it was from up, from up here. I don't know how far I can up back here, but it was up here. Well, so. you're the one that, that talked about his injuries on his arm. Yes. That's limited to about mid biceps, to about mid forearm, correct? Okay. Right? Yes. No injuries on the shoulder, no injuries on the torso, no injuries on the ribs, no injuries on the back, correct? Is that right? Yes. So your theory is he got hit on the arm, took the brunt of the force from the taillight on the arm, stayed with the, the vehicle long enough for the taillight to explode, basically, to shatter. Then these striations get on his arm, his abrasions. Does a pirouette, spin, <laughs> counterclockwise, he flies 30 feet in the air to his point of rest. 
Yeah, it happens probably a little faster than that, though. I thought said he hit his head on the curb. I said that's one of the possibilities of <clears throat> when you look at the roadway, as he gets spun around kind of clockwise, it's a possibility that the curb is there, any blunt force object on the ground, as the ground is pretty blunt. Well, except in your... He was struck along the right side in the area of his arm, and then he was... In post impact with the Lexus, he rotated counterclockwise and eventually hit the ground and came to final rests.